Hi Crazy Crafters and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be making a sponge art painting that you can frame and use as a decoration or gift it to someone. Let's get to it. The materials you will need for this craft are a piece of cardstock, a picture, a pen, a pair of scissors, tape, a sponge, three paints, a paper plate, a piece of scrap paper, and a picture frame. I'm using a 5x7. To start, I'm going to take the picture, take off the back, put that aside, and then I'm going to take out this picture, or the paper, and I'll put the frame aside. And then taking my cardstock paper, I am going to line it up to the edge and then I'm going to trace it because this will be the piece of paper that you will be painting on. And it doesn't have to be neat because it will be hidden by the frame. So you can put this piece of paper off to the side. And then take your pair of scissors and then you're going to cut. Reminder, it doesn't have to be perfect because it will be hidden by the frame. Then you can put your scissors off to the side as well as the piece of paper. And then take the piece of scrap book, er, um, scrap paper and you can, it can be any color or whatever, it can be dirty, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put the piece of paper on it um, so I don't get paint on my surface. Okay, and then grab your scissors and then you're going to cut your sponge into four pieces. The, this sponge will be what you're going to use to paint with. Okay, and then you can use any picture. I'm going to be using this cool hot air balloon from cooltobekids.com. The link will be in the description below. So I'm going to cut around this as evenly as I can. It doesn't have to be that perfect. When you're finished cutting, you can take the, your scraps and put them off to the side, as well as your scissors. And then take your tape and cut off a piece and make a tape bubble. If you don't know how to do that, take the ends of the tape, fold them to the middle, and close. It should be sticky on all sides. Put it on the back of your image and then stick it in the center of your paper and press down. Then you will take your paper plate and you can use any color paints. I would recommend using three and like using a dark and a medium and then a light color. So I'm using purple. So you can go ahead and pour your dark paint onto the plate. You don't need much. And then I'm going to pour the medium, which is turquoise. And then I'm going to pour the light, which is the pink. Okay, then you're going to take your sponges. You're only going to need three for this craft, so you can just put your fourth off to the side. So take your sponge and then dip the end of it into paint. I recommend dabbing it onto the paper plate so it's not like gloppy or anything. So, uh, reminder, start with your dark color, and then I would hold down, or press down onto your image so that way paint doesn't get underneath it. So I'm just going to dot all around. And I'm going to get some more and dab it on my plate, put some more purple all around. Okay, so I might come back to purple, I'm not quite sure. So then using your second clean sponge, dip it into your medium sized paint, dab it onto the plate to get some of the paint off, and then dab all around. You can use any colors you want, but I'm using turquoise right now. Okay, and then put that off to the side. Grab your third clean sponge and dip it into your third color. And then dab it onto the plate so it's not full of paint. So right now, the paint 
paper should be almost full of sponges and you should be able to see that sponge mark left on the white. That's why I think it's best to use white because then the colors are more vibrant. And that's all there is to it. It doesn't really take that much hard work to get this done, but it'll look really cool. So now let this dry and then we will put it in our frame later. See you then. Hi, welcome back. So now when your paper is dry, you're gonna take off your little image. So be careful because the tape might rip up the cardstock, so be extra careful. So peeling back the tape, mine ripped a little bit, but it, sh it shouldn't be that noticeable. And then you're done with this, so you can put that off to the side. And there you have it. So now we're going to put it in the frame. So make sure to put the image to the front of the picture frame so you see it through the glass. And then put the back on, and there you have it. And that's how you make your very own sponge art painting. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Please tell your friends. Thanks Crazy Crafters for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye!